Hi everyone, this is Micah Lane, and this is my second installment for how to remove tarnish uh, from your flute using very simple ingredients, uh, baking soda and water, and uh, aluminium, or aluminum. So, um, many of you wrote in and asked me to do a second portion showing the removal of the keys from the flute. Uh, this is uh, still my same student model Yamaha 285S2 and uh, this was the very very first flute I ever owned and I think it still sounds just as good as uh, many of my other flutes. So if we take a closer look here you can see the tarnish on my flute here. I took off all of the keys. For this demonstration I'll I removed the tarnish using the same method I used in my other video. Uh, for those of you who saw the other video, I removed the tarnish from the head joint, uh, mainly because it has the least parts and it's the easiest to clean without too much expertise. Um, I want to give you the preface that if you do not know how to take the flute apart, if you are not an expert or properly trained in uh, instrument repair, please don't do this. Um, it's very, very easy to damage your instrument if you don't know how to properly uh, take the instrument apart and put it back together. It's not all that difficult uh, to learn, but you do need a, a proper guide in the form of schooling or a really, really good mentor, uh, such as, you know, an apprenticeship uh, type situation. Um, I did mention that in the other video, but I, surprisingly I got a lot of uh, comments about it, so I wanted to make that perfectly clear. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't do it. And this goes uh, for anything in life. <laughs> so uh, today I want to show you the chemical reaction again for removing the tarnish from the body piece, which has all of the keys removed, as well as... Uh, the thumb key, which has some tarnish on it. You see I removed the pads. Uh, this one has a washer in it um, from my instrument. So here we go. I'm going to take the body over to my container, and in the container is the aluminum or aluminum sheet uh, with baking soda in it. And then uh, you want to have a container that's large enough to hold your silver pieces. And while I'm here, let me just grab the other uh, key here. There we are. So it's rather it's it's rather black, um, much more so than my head joint. In this container, I have the water uh, that has been boiled. Very, very hot water. So I'll just take, to make things easy, I'll just take this container and scoop up the water. Rather than moving that very, very hot pot <laughs> over. Uh, the goal is to submerge the entire flute in this solution. And in a very quick amount of time, I'll keep the camera on the flute so that you can see the progression. Um, it happens very, very quickly, it's a matter of seconds. Just like I mentioned in the last video, it's very important to cover the entire flute and make sure that the flute comes into contact with the aluminum uh, foil. Smells like sulfur in here. <laughs> and you can see the body is turning into a very, very beautiful silver. All of the dark splotches are almost entirely gone. So I'll leave it, I usually leave the flute in here for a couple of minutes, you know. 
maybe two to five minutes just to make sure that all the bits are properly cleaned. And uh, that's it. It doesn't take too long. You just need to make sure again that the pads are removed uh, before you submerge the flute. You don't definitely don't want to submerge the instrument with the pads on because the traditional felt pads are damaged very easily um, when exposed to water. Uh, there are some flute pads on the market that are somewhat water resistant. Um, I'm a big fan of them. A very, very big fan. Some people think they get sticky or, um, you know, don't feel as good. I, that uh, is not the case <laughs> for me. I, I don't eat food um, and play my flute. You know, I clean out the flute pretty regularly and I take care of my flute. So, um, yeah, hopefully in the future we'll have... Uh, more options and synthetic pads and um, I'm very happy to say our flute community is is uh, very active in going forward and making uh, lots of progressive movements in the form of uh, flute pad development and flute techniques we have some of the best craftsmen in the world working on this problem um, or many problems so um, we're very lucky to be flute players. So I'm going to take it out. It's still really hot. You can see it's very, very silver, and there are a couple of little splotches there. So um, sometimes you have to move the flute around a bit and um, have it come into contact with the foil um, in order to remove it quicker. It's, it's much, much more um, clean <laughs> than it was before. And if videos had smell of vision you would be appalled. <laughs> you would be absolutely horrified at the smell of this stuff. The sulfur has definitely left my flute and entered my apartment. <laughs> smells like brimstone my horrible Scottish accent so that, there it is um, part two of how to remove tarnish from your flute um, a couple of things I'd like to say that perhaps I didn't mention in the other video when you're done putting your flute in this solution uh, there are a couple of things that you can do to ensure that uh, the tarnish does not come back. Number one, when you're done putting it in the baking soda water solution, um, I would recommend washing it off with water, with distilled water. Um, if you don't have distilled water, then the, the sink is fine, depending on how much you trust your, your tap water. Um, I'm going to take these keys here and show you. Um, that's a very, very beautiful key. Nice and silver. So uh, make sure you wash the solution off. You definitely don't want any baking soda. Sorry, you don't want any baking soda on there. And then give it a nice dry, an air dry. Um, there are some solutions out there that I'm learning that um, help prevent the tarnish from coming back, but um, I would recommend using an anti-tarnish strip and um, I use them in my professional case. Let me see if I have my flute here. Sorry if it's a little dark. Um, let me grab my Muramatsu. tarnish strips and you could buy these online uh, Flute World has them in stock um, any flute shop should have them because they're wonderful these are the anti tarnish strips and uh, you just take one and put it in your flute case they're meant to uh, help remove 
uh, extra moisture and sulfur that's in your flute case when it's not in use. And uh, they last for about six months. Uh, this particular pack came in uh, groups of six. I bought it at RDG in uh, Los Angeles. And uh, it works great. So if you would like to protect your flute from tarnish after you use the method to get off the heavy stuff, then I would recommend that you put one of these in your flute case and that'll help um, keep the tarnish off of your beautiful silver. If you don't mind a little bit of patina, then hey, uh, keep it as a fashion statement. But for me, I don't like the uh, smell of sulfur on my flute. So um, I use my method. So there you are. If you have any questions, uh, please, again, feel free to uh, ask me on my YouTube channel. Um, or uh, please feel free to write me an email. My website is hawaiianflutist.com, H-A-W-A-I-I-A-N-F-L-U-T-I-S-T.com. And you can contact me there, uh, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. All right, everyone, take care.